Now, weather with your First Coast News storm experts, powered by AC Designs. Don't worry, folks, this is not tropical depression number three. In fact, tropical depression number three cooperated with the forecast, stuck to that's where it peaked. So far this year, we haven't seen a major hurricane. By the way, that's a visual presentation of a major hurricane. We've seen Andrea. We've seen Barry became a category one. But you know what? Even a category one and two hurricane, even though they are significant, they aren't necessarily life changing events for communities. Major hurricanes are. When we talk about major hurricanes, we're talking specifically about category three, four and fives. As an average, they don't even form until September 4th. Why? Because they need the warm waters. Although I must tell you, currently our waters in the Atlantic, in the Caribbean, in the Gulf are warm enough to support a category three, four and five, a major. This is what you have to have. In fact, once a major hurricane develops, it's like any other low pressure system on Earth. Low pressure at the surface, but on top high pressure on the surface counterclockwise flow above it anticyclonic that is clockwise flow. What's the big deal? It allows it to breathe. We're talking way beyond no shear folks. We're talking about like having a fireplace. You pull the vent, the fire can grow. It can breathe. In fact, the chimney really can be thought of as the eye wall. Once the eye wall develops, then the eye forms. In fact, even without information from the hurricane hunters, if you follow a satellite picture and you see a solid ring of thunderstorms and you see a clear eye, take it to the bank. That's a category three hurricane. That means it's a major hurricane. It's going to go to four and five. Now, fortunately, hurricanes are not stable at four and five. They can't stay there long. Thank goodness. And so what happens? There's what we call an eye wall replacement. It actually develops two eye walls. Now that's good. That means the hurricane is stabilized, probably won't have rapid intensification, but it does mean it's going to grow and there will be an even larger storm surge and all of this needs to happen under very warm water. For now, the tropics relatively quiet, so let's take a look outside downtown. Speaking of waters, uh, the river temperature in some locations now up to 90 degrees, but uh, enjoy that uh, relatively calm sky here elsewhere. Yes, we do have some thunderstorms again. One more look. There goes the last of the downpours with what was tropical depression. Number three. Here comes the front. That's the last of the downpours, uh, but they're pretty heavy. Uh, intense rains and some lightning and the strongest of the activity over the next hour will be working through northern Nassau, Camden and Glen. Then comes the front. Generally speaking, and I say that because it's going to be working slowly from north to south, the front on the way for all of us becoming wet uh, at the airport. So think north side of Jacksonville northward highs of 84. You folks farther off to the south, it's going to take longer to the front to arrive. You'll be warmer, but the front will be on the way. For instance, down around Mayport, you might not even get the wind shift until about 4 p.m. But anybody who's going to be out and about, be aware of the front on the way because it's going to blow through the sea breeze. It will produce a lot of lightning once the front does arrive. And then once the front arrives and it's a major front for this time of the year, it's going to stall right over the area. Now those clouds mean that check it out. Highs for most of us well below 90 for three days in a row. But as we mentioned, there will be the threat or at least the potential for some localized flooding. We'll be watching that very closely for you.